Hello, friends. Uh, today we are going to discuss about an exciting uh, topic that is um, digital asset. Okay, how you can build and create your own digital asset. And let's get into uh, it to understand what is digital asset and how can you create digital asset for yourself. Okay, so let me just share my screen, then we can get into the topic. So what is digital asset? Okay, now before we get into what is digital asset, let's understand the, um, what is asset. Asset is uh, something which used to be physical with uh, internet coming in. That's the greatest revolution ever happened. Uh, came um, the digital asset. Okay, so digital assets um, uh, invention or it came into existence uh, post internet. So then if we go back, then what used to be the asset, the definition of assets remain the same. That means uh, anything physical or digital, anything that uh, creates uh, an income on a consistent uh, basis uh, becomes an asset. So for an example, if you own a property, um, then the property, the rental income uh, that it generates uh, you know, consistently, and the appreciation of its value. So that is, um, that makes it an asset, okay? Exactly the same way, um, let's say you have uh, some uh, fixed deposits or mutual funds or any kind of an investment. And uh, so that is an, an asset, why? Because whatever you are having, uh, you know, as, as mutual fund, as an investment, now, that will uh, that creates an uh, income source for you. So that means you you know the appreciation of its uh, value, you know value of your investment uh, makes it an asset. Okay. Now the asset may also in a, in a, a in another sense uh, may also depreciates its value. So that means uh, it may may not be an asset as well. For example, if you hold something, if you have an investment and if you are not able to sell that investment to um, take care of uh, you know, your certain needs, then uh, it can't be treated as an asset. So that is something also you have to understand. So now there are two kinds of other physical assets that means which you can see, you can touch and you can feel. Uh, those are called physical assets uh, like uh, we discussed about um, a building maybe and uh, maybe, a, maybe a physical asset, okay? Now digital asset is something which uh, you don't see it, you, you don't um, uh, feel it, uh, no, it's not, not physical. So now with with uh, internet uh, revolutionizing the entire kind of uh, you know um, life of all of us now there are different forms of uh, digital assets you can build as well so that means you can't uh, touch and feel um, but these are assets which can create an ongoing income for you so let's take for an example Okay, so there are two kinds of digital assets you build, okay? So one is a knowledge-based digital asset. Uh, so knowledge-based, uh, you know, means you, whatever you have in your brain, you uh, put it together, uh, you know, in, in different forms. Now you, now you can see if you are a painter, you paint something and, um, you know, or you, you draw something, uh, you know, or if you have pictures, you take in some pictures on, uh, with your uh, digital camera. And uh, so that becomes an asset, okay? Now, asset means, uh, you know, you, you can sell it. So for example, videos as well, okay? Now, um, you may have YouTube videos and uh, those videos uh, may be a training based, maybe some kind of a knowledge you are sharing with others. Now those videos could be uh, digital assets as well because YouTube uh, pays you um, after you, of course, after you get to a certain le level or certain number of subscribers, then you can monetize um, your um, you know, YouTube channel and uh, the, based on the number of views and the number of advertisers and all, you, you are going to be paid. Okay, so that's, that means uh, 
you create the um, video once, you take the pictures uh, once, and then you can make an ongoing income, okay? Um, from from uh, videos as, you, as we discussed, from, uh, you know, uh, from pictures we discussed, it could be anything like design files, document, PDFs, uh, you know, these are kind of a written, could be, uh, could be a video, could be an audio, could be a presentation, uh, could be anything which is, uh, you know, in demand or somebody is willing to pay for that information or that um, video or somebody willing to pay for or buy that image or that PDF file or that document, the presentation slide or the uh, marketing collateral. So these are, uh, you know, knowledge-based digital assets. Now let's discuss about um, uh, speculative digital assets. So predominantly right now, you know, if you see uh, with uh, metaverse uh, is, a, is a big thing and, uh, you know, people are talking about metaverse when, uh, you know, after Facebook changed its name from uh, Facebook to meta, okay, uh, people thought that there's something big is uh, coming. Now, um, with these, uh, you know, these metaverse is a digital world or a virtual world, okay? And uh, they say that that is a world where, you know, the physical and virtual meet together, okay? And um, in, in this kind of a um, uh, digital world, okay, or virtual world, if you see, so there are a lot of speculative assets. That means people are talking about, uh, you know, uh, blockchain-based assets, okay? Now, blockchain-based assets, what, what is a blockchain? If you do not know already blockchain, you must be, um, you know, uh, this terminology has been used over and over again, and you will be hearing that a lot in the future. So what is a blockchain? Blockchain is, um, you know, a uh, database, if you can say, uh, when a transaction is uh, recorded, uh, as as a block, uh, you know, in a distributed network, or they call it nodes, um, then uh, so that uh, you know those uh, transactions, uh, you know, are uh, in in packets format or in a block format. Okay, and uh, you know the transaction is recorded, uh, you know, in multiple nodes or multiple systems or computers, and they validate these all these computers. They validate the transactions, uh, you know based on a very complex uh, kind of, uh, you know, um, they have a complex logic, okay, all of them want to, uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, this is a valid authentic transaction. So now, uh, you know, that becomes a, a, a validated block, okay, and then that is chained together. So that means there are multiple blocks, so they are chained together uh, to create, uh, you know, um, a digital or an online kind of a, a distributed network assets. Okay, so assets means the transactions are recorded, and uh, you know um, they are journalized or ledgered online. And uh, this could be, um, you know, now, now you must have heard about Bitcoin. Okay, so this is called cryptocurrency. Okay, which is blockchain based. Blockchain means means the transaction that is uh, Bitcoin is, uh, you know, gets, uh, it, it, uh, you know, if I bought some Bitcoin from someone, so that is getting recorded in, uh, you know, in multiple kind of um, uh, databases, okay? Or I wouldn't say multiple databases, but multiple nodes of a distributed uh, network, okay? Um, in multiple, much multiple computers, it gets recorded, okay? Or multiple databases, uh, you know, that create these uh, blocks. And uh, so that becomes a digital asset, which is a highly speculative in nature. What does that mean? So that means, uh, you know, uh, let me just show you some of the examples. So you will be you will be surprised to to see that uh, you know how how come uh, you know these kind of a transactions uh, are uh, happening. Let let me just uh, share with you my screen. To, to show you, uh, let me give you, give you one example here. So uh, now you see here, 
So this is one of those, uh, you know, NFTs, okay? Um, now, if you do not know what is, uh, you know, NFT, so non-fungible tokens. So these are kind of a digital assets again, uh, just like uh, Bitcoin we discussed. So NFTs are also, you know, uh, digital assets. So, so what is this? So this digital kind of, you know, digital image you can see, okay? Now, this was largest sale. Can you see that? It was sold for $7.58 million. Okay, now, don't you think that is a highly speculative? What is that to be sold for $5.57 million for an image? And what is its worth? Uh, you know, you do not know. For you, it may, may be zero. For me, it absolutely that doesn't have any value. But for some, someone there, that value is worth $7.57 million. Okay, so... Um, so this is kind of a very highly speculative. So that means there is no uh, asset, okay, backing this um, uh, this uh, you know value, okay. So that means this is pure speculation, okay. Now, if uh, you know these kind of a transaction, if you see the NFTs are big thing now, and all these kind of things uh, you know are worth so much, uh, you know. So. Um, does it uh, really make sense to buy these you know again it's it's up in the air it's a individual perceptions but this is also a digital asset or this is um, also called uh, you know um, the uh, so you can make uh, money or these are worth something okay so that means you have must have heard or must have seen bitcoins going up and down and uh, you know different kinds of cryptocurrencies now Bit uh, bitcoin is just one of the cryptocurrencies out there, there are so many of them so now these are uh, digital assets okay now we discussed about nfts okay so now if you have knowledge you know how to make these uh, tokens okay you, you well um, if you know how to make these kind of arts as well um you know i recently read somewhere that uh, the first tweet of um, uh, the founder i forgot uh, the founder of twitter um his name so he um he that was uh, uh, sold uh, you know as nfts worth few millions okay uh, now um, steve jobs uh, the the founder of apple uh, his uh, first uh, i think first resume was sold as an nft for a few millions dollars as well okay so that kind of uh, um, worth uh, could be you know uh, these uh, digital assets okay so how can you create your own digital assets okay as we discussed earlier you can pack uh, package your knowledge and uh, you know you can um, put it out there you can create your own video channel youtube channel and you can monetize it and you can, that could uh, make you money so that means you have to consistently create videos but that is absolutely a good way after some time your youtube uh, you know keeps you paying now, second thing is, uh, you know, you can capture it as a video, your knowledge, but you can also write, okay, whatever you have on your head, you can put it out there, write a book, paperback, it could be, could be electronic uh, format or ebook um, or a PDF file. And, uh, you know, you can monetize that as well. So you can just put it up out there in uh, Amazon Kindle as an Amazon Kindle or Amazon KDP, you know, as you can put a book, um, book out there on amazon and people you know come and buy and you keep start making money just like harry potter okay now uh, jk rowling or the publisher of the book uh, they don't have to even advertise at all but people keep buying okay as more and more uh, kids uh, you know want to um, get to that age of where they will be able to read uh, you know harry potter they will keep reading and uh, you know as long as they keep, keep buying these uh, books and um, J.K. Rowling as an author of these books, uh, you know, she would make the money. So that is a, a digital asset, that book. She wrote it once and that keeps paying her for um, even month after month, year after year, in generation after generation as well, that, um, you know, income would be there. So now 
we discussed about uh, you know what you uh, put there, put out there as video we discussed about your writings now let's discuss about your voice okay now there are a lot of uh, you know uh, musicians out there okay like band or music albums and uh, you know you must have already known about it so their voice or band or that music what they come up with that's their digital asset so that means they don't have to create it again and again okay elvis um, presley's um, you know the songs um, the albums the music it's still uh, sold and there are so many people out there who are crazy about elvis and still you know elvis foundation uh, they keep uh, making money so that's the voice the music you know that that is where you know they will make the money so exactly same way you can have your own podcast you may not be elvis presley you may not be um britney spears uh, but you can still make money um um from uh, your podcast or you can have your own audiobook in audible uh, you must have heard about audible of amazon okay that will keep you paying or you could uh, um, write a blog as well you can have your blog and you can write content for your blog and that will make you money how the blog will make you money well blog writing blog unlike writing a book a blog will not uh, you know generate uh, income for you the writings will not okay but you can package your blog you can you can sell your blog posts uh, you know um, and you can make money out of it or you can even you know advert on your blog you can because blog is a way whereby people are people come and they read your blogs and then you can put your um, uh, um, uh, digital uh, book okay or you can have a course or if you want to uh, sell anyone else's course or anyone else's products, uh, you know, having a link up there on your blog, or you can create an uh, income source from, uh, you know, a Google ad. Okay. So advertisements, uh, people, uh, Google's uh, advertisements could be there and uh, people clicking it, uh, clicking on the ad and you can make money as well from that. Uh, that's another way as well. Okay. And online courses, you can package your again and knowledge and create courses, uh, especially how to kind of uh, things what uh, you want to teach. And then that could be uh, an income source as well. So these are the different digital assets, okay? Different kinds of digital assets you can, you can build based on knowledge. And NFT also you can, if you are a group, group, uh, good graphic designer, you can also put together, you can create your own uh, NFT as well. Okay, so now let, let, let's discuss about uh, the fluctuation or the speculative um, digital assets. We discussed about it earlier as well. Cryptocurrency, okay, is one of those uh, you know, digital assets where uh, why is a digital asset, uh, you know, money is not so your note, okay, um, if you have $100 in your bank account, okay, um, and you can withdraw that in terms of notes uh, from the bank, uh, you know, you can withdraw that money. So that is a, a physical format, okay. Now, cryptocurrency is uh, not a, you know, there is no central bank here in in case of cryptocurrency as we discussed earlier cryptocurrency is a blockchain based um, currency so that means uh, these are all recorded okay so whatever the money you and i right now in your account your bank account that is just a record okay there is nothing like, what is money it's it's kind of an entry uh, on a bank's um, uh, database there is an entry that this so and so name so so and so um, bank account number has this kind of uh, this figure income that's it or this kind of um, balance in his account okay that's it so cryptocurrency is exactly uh, you know the similar concept whereby it's not the bank's record that gets recorded okay or just not just in one uh, authorities or one person is not 
responsible to record it. So it gets recorded in multiple different um, systems or multiple um, different distributed networks or the different nodes. Okay, so that is blockchain based. So that means these are all block together transactions are all are recorded and uh, as as a block. Okay, and they are uh, kind of a connected with each other. Uh, that's that becomes a chain. Okay, so that's where the name came from blockchain based okay now another blockchain based a uh, digital asset is nft we discussed about it earlier non fungible tokens okay so non transferable tokens so uh, now this is uh, nfts are becoming big now especially in the creator community or artist community uh, but again it's not confined to artist community now as we discussed earlier as well uh, you know the first tweet um, by the founder of um, Twitter, that uh, was worth uh, multiple millions. Okay, now um, Steve Jobs or late Steve Jobs' uh, uh, first job um, interview or, or first CV, what he wrote, uh, is also an NFT. Okay, so the anything which is rare and people are willing to pay for it, so that is kind of uh, can be converted into non fungible tokens okay so that has got value in it as well but again there is no asset backing it up okay whatever that is uh, you know in a, that nft is so there is no corresponding uh, you know amount of asset backing it up so that is what there is a danger as well there okay this is very highly speculative but the third thing if you haven't heard about stable coins okay um um, and that is asset based so that means uh, stable coins uh, you know um, is uh, you know a crypto uh, or, a, or a currency but it is backed by assets okay um, assets could be you know uh, bank deposits could be um, uh, real estate but it is backed by assets okay so stable coins is another way uh, as well uh, you can identify or another way of uh, you know creating the digital assets so with that i am kind of done uh, you know if you have any questions about uh, you know uh, these um, topics so feel free to um, ask me whatever knowledge I have, uh, you know, I will be able to answer. But digital asset is the asset you all or we all should focus as well to build digital assets. Okay, so that, uh, you know, we can have not only physical, but digital and nothing like monetizing your knowledge. Okay, so that is the first thing which I really liked about it. But if you are into Bitcoins and uh, cryptocurrency and all, so go for it. But as we discussed earlier, this is highly speculative. You have to be careful there because you, as you have you must have seen that Bitcoin was up and then and down and then and up and down. So this is highly speculative. And, uh, you know, you whatever the money you are going to invest in there, make sure that, uh, you know, you can afford that to lose. OK, because you may lose the entire thing. If, it, if you gain, that's really good. That's good for you. If you lose, it may not be that good. So make sure that you can afford to lose that money before you get into the NFTs or cryptos or you know different um, other ways uh, to monetize online, to make money online or this building a digital asset. Okay. So my name is Som, Som Prakash. I am an e-business entrepreneurship coach and a consultant. I help people to create an income online along with their own career or other commitments okay so if you need any help feel free to message me contact me and we'll be more than happy to connect with you to help you to create your own digital assets with that signing off bye bye